Hello, it's Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to talk about my thoughts about the iCare Keratin Blowout. If you want to know what I have to say about the product, please keep on watching. Alright guys, so kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung part 1, which is the application part ng iCure Keratin Blowout, I'll be leaving it in the information box up and also in the description box below para mapanood nyo siya. After watching, you come back here. Pero kung napanood nyo na siya, this is part 2 where I will be reviewing the product and also showing you the results after 3 days. But before I share with you my thoughts, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Click nyo na rin yung bell button beside it so you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. So if you like some hair care, skin care, and makeup related videos, please hit the subscribe button. Alright, so I divide ko to into part and iiwanan ko rin sa taas, walang kung saan ko lalagay dito, yung breakdown ng mga parts ng video na to. So kung may gusto ko yung skip, i-move nyo na siya kagaad. There's a number na nakalagay dito sa taas. Alright, let's talk about the product. It's called the Eye Cure Keratin Blowout. It comes in a sachet form. Actually, it's originally in a bottle, pero ang binili ko ay yung sachet niya, which is 35 ml yung laman niya. I bought two kasi mahaba na yung buhok ko at kulang na sa akin ang isang sachet. I got it from Shopee. Maraming shops sa Shopee na nagbebenta ng mga hair treatment pero dito sa shop na to nakita ko na mas mura yung mga binebenta niya. So I will be leaving the link also sa description box below para mapindot yun na lang kagad papunta sa Shopee account niya. Aside from this eye cure keratin blowout, I also use a clarifying shampoo. I use my Gen Fix clarifying shampoo. Link in the description description box as well. It's a mild clarifying shampoo. That's why I like it kasi it still remains moisturized kay clarifying shampoo siya. My after treatment conditioner is from Epsa, the Epsa New Form Pro Keratin Conditioner Plus Hair Mask. Alright, so here's a picture of my hair before the treatment, after the treatment, and three days after I rinsed it and this is how it looks like. As you can see in the picture, the volume came back and it looks a bit straighter. By the way, my hair is naturally wavy, so nagkaroon siya ng a little bit of straightness kahit na rinse na siya. Okay, pros and cons naman tayo. For the pros, number one, it's affordable, especially in the sachet form. Kasi 210 pesos lang, meron ka na kagad na sachet. Instead, na bibilin mo yung parang 2,500 na mismong bottle niya. Number two, it leaves my hair extra manageable even after rinsing it. As you can see doon sa pictures, mas bagsak siya and hindi siya ganun kabuhaghan. And number three, it provides a little bit of straightness to my hair even after rinsing it. For the cons, ito sobrang na-bother ako dito. It stings and it stinks. Sobrang sakit niya sa ilong tsaka sa mata. I was wearing a mask all throughout the process kasi na kapag nasisinghot mo siya, masakit siya hanggang sa lalamunan. Why does it sting? Meron kasi siyang chemical na tinatawag na formaldehyde. It's a kind of preservative na it's actually a harmful chemical na meron yung mga Brazilian blowout, mostly ng mga brands ng Brazilian blowout. Kung natry nyo na na mag-dissect ng frog nung nasa biology class kayo nung high school, yung formalin na ginagamit para ma-preserve yung frog, ganun na ganun yung amoy niya. And number two, it's time consuming, especially if you're going to do it yourself. So the question is, will I recommend it or will I use it again? Probably yes, but not in the near future. I'd rather use other products na kahit hindi nagbibigay ng straightness sa hair ko, napapalambot naman niya and less yung sting. But if you are after the extra straightness, konti lang naman kasi yung mas straight niya sa buhok mo eh. The extra straightness to your hair, sige, you can go for it. Pero according to a hairdresser talaga, you should do Brazilian blowout every six months. So what can I recommend as an alternative instead of doing Brazilian blowout again and again? Hair mask. The hair mask that I used 
as an after treatment conditioner is nice. Actually, I think it's one of the reasons why my hair became more manageable after rinsing the Brazilian blowout. Kasi nung tinray ko mag rinse ng hair, nagamit regular conditioner na lang, hindi na siya ganun ka straight, and yung volume niya mas marami na ako nakikita na friends. So I will be reviewing this hair mask soon para makita natin yung effect niya sa hair without any other treatment. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, just leave it in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time. Don't forget, smile! There's always a reason to be happy. Bye!